Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's lecture. In our session, we will delve into the practical aspects of navigating using OpenCPN. Specifically, we will focus on a vital component, navigational tool, the installation of maps, and how to organize them into chart groups. To begin, it's essential to gas the significance of having accurate and up-to-date maps in the realm of navigation. We will explore where to find the most reliable sources for these maps and discuss the rationale behind loading multiple charts into various sites. This practice is crucial for safely navigating both open waters and unfamiliar territories. So let's begin on this exploration together. We will unravel the intricacies of enhancing your navigational capacities through the installation of maps in OpenCPN. Let's move on to the heart of our course, installing maps in OpenCPM. I'll walk you through the process step by step. First, you want to open CPN, go to the toolbar, options, and select charts. Go to the charts downloader, and let's add a catalog. OpenCPN is giving you made choices. We're going to load a raster, a vector, and MB tile for this course. Download the chart files provided by Noah. The RNCs are raster files. We meet the NCs are vector files. As you can tell, we can load these by different methods. We can load all of them, which would be all of the um, uh, NOAA charts and the inland waterway charts. And well, by Costco districts, we can load by states, we can load by regions. What we'll do here this cuss, I believe, is we'll go to regions or we're going to upload since I, my boat is in um, South Carolina. We're going to go ahead and load our region six. You say okay. Then we go back to the ad catalogs, to the NOR, we go to ENC, we go to Regions, and here Lord Counter 6. And now what we've done is we've, we've queued up Region 6, NOAA charts, uh, North Fork, Virginia to Florida for both vector and raster. Now update the charts, select all. And then looks like the charts. go to your tab for chart files, you should see two directories with uh, both your vector and, and your raster files, love it. Uh, you can see down below, you can scan the charts, force a full data out, please prepare all your ANC charts. Let's prepare all our ANC charts and here you'll watch uh, all the charts are being updated from your present location. And there you have it. For most of the Eastern Seaboard, we now have both raster charts and vector charts from uh, South Florida all the way up to Virginia. I'd like to show you why I don't load MB Tau charts from the OpenCPN Options Catalog. The OpenCPN Options Catalog is a feature that allows you to download and install charts from various sources with a single click. However, this feature is not suitable for MBKeep ch charts, and I'll explain why. The first reason is that it opens CPN options catalogs, downloads all 46 MB tile charts from the Office of Coast Survey, regardless of your location and navigational needs. This includes charts from the West Coast, Alaska, Hawaii, and the South Pacific. However, my 34-foot trawler is located on the East Coast, and I don't think I'll ever take her into the Pacific. Therefore, I do not need those charts and downloading them would be a waste of time and that bandwidth. The second reason is that each MBT tile chart is 500 megabits. So downloading all 46 charts would take up 23 gigabit of storage space on my device. This space should be used for other purposes such as photos, videos, or music. Moreover, having too many charts on my device would slow down the performance of OpenCPN as it would take longer to load and display the charts. 
The third reason is I only want East Coast MBT charts. Let us walk through the process of manually loading MB tiles from NOAA's website. Okay, so first we're going to get to the website. NOAA's website for the Office of uh, Coast Survey. Ready to go down, we're going to select the MP tile file for North Carolina, South Carolina, and part of Georgia. We'll download it, put it in a directory, and our charts directory. We will talk about this later, but we're going to put under Region 6. Region 6 will have three subdirectories in it, vector, raster, and MP tiles. We're going to put in the MP tile directory, and we're going to download it there. It will take, you can tell, it's uh, 329 megabytes. And we've got a fairly fast link here, so it's going rather quickly. Downloading it. We're done with that one. I'm just going to load one more, uh, just to show you how that works. It's probably a little smoother here. you load region 7 which is Georgia and uh, eastern seaboard of uh, Florida. Here we can go to a subdirectory that we create under charts called uh, region 7 North Florida. The main tiles will say save and he'll download there and this one is rather large. It's 493 megabits and as you can tell this is a great reason just showing you exactly why. We don't um, load all 48 tiles. I only want uh, partial. I may load at a later date, may load eight and nine. Decide whether or not I'm gonna have the Caribbean or not this year. But anyway, those are the two I need right now. Give plan a couple trips to uh, Florida and on the intercoastal. And I think uh, it'd be handy to have these maps along with the raster and um, Vector files, uh, vector maps that I'll be using to get the, to, to plot my course down there. And we'll do that in, in this course also. We will put one together. Okay, so that should be done. And that's done. We then go over to Open CPN. We go to the Tools bar. We load charts. We add a directory. We'll add both those directories. We'll add the one for Region 6, MPT Tiles, select Folder. We'll then add a directory for this tree. We've got Region 7, North Florida, select Folder, say OK. And then we'll add those to the charts uh, catalog. We can then scan uh, charts, force a full data update, uh, full database rebuild, and prepare all ENC charts. And that goes to gyrations, and there you go. We apply those settings. Uh, all the maps are upgraded, uploaded uh, currently, and there you have it. We now have three sets of charts. We have vector, we have uh, raster, and we have MP top balls. We'll use those in the next course. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.